let's recall the condition of the eye known as nearsightedness or myopia and let's examine how we can temporarily fix this condition using corrective lenses. So let's begin by defining what nearsightedness is. So nearsightedness or myopia is essentially the inability of the eye to see objects very far away. So the eye can still see objects very close to the eye, but the eye cannot see objects very far away. Now, what is the reason behind myopia? So myopia can be caused by either one of two reasons. Either the cornea lens system of the eye is too curved or the eyeball shape is elongated, is too long. In either case, what happens is the rays of light entering the cornea are bent too much and essentially converge at a point before or in front of the retina of the eye. Remember, the eye will only see an object clearly if the image of the object is formed directly on the retina of the eye. So, once again, a person with myopia or nearsightedness can see objects that are nearby clearly but cannot see objects farther away. Now, the result or the reason for this is the cornea lens of the eye is simply too curved and the light converges to a point in front of the retina of the eye as shown in the following diagram. So, because of the curvature of the cornea and the lens of the eye, when the rays of light come in from an infinite distance away, they bend too much and meet at a point that is found in front of the retina of the eye. And that means the image or the object will not appear clearly. Now, how exactly can we go about temporarily fixing this condition known as nearsightedness? So, by placing a concave or diverging corrective lens right in front of the cornea of the eye, we can bring the point of convergence back onto the retina of the eye. Remember, objects are only seen clearly by the eye when the image of the object is actually formed on the retina of the eye. So if we take a diverging or concave corrective lens and place it in front of our retina of the eye, what happens is these rays of light diverge slightly before actually hitting the cornea of the eye and that means because of this slight converge because of the slight divergence the rays of light will converge at a point that is found directly on the retina of the eye and the object will appear clearly so now let's discuss the relationship between corrective lenses and the far point of an eye that has myopia. So let's recall what a far point is. The far point of the eye is the farthest distance at which an object can be seen clearly. Now a good eye or normal eye has a far point at infinity. However, in an eye that has nearsightedness, the far point decreases to some finite value. Now, how exactly does a corrective lens affect the far point? So, what a concave corrective lens does is it places the image of the far away object that is usually found infinitely far away at the far point of the eye. So what this diverging lens does is it forms an image of the object at the far point of the eye. Now the lens and the cornea system of the eye treats this image formed by the diverging lens as if it was the object. And this object, this image, is now found at the far point of the eye. So that means our image, the final image, 
formed by the cornea and the lens is formed directly on the retina of the eye. So once again, what a concave corrective lens does is it places the image of the faraway object at the far point of the eye with myopia. The lens of the eye treats this image at the far point as the object and forms the final image directly on the retina. So let's see exactly what we mean by looking at the following diagram. So, this is our eye that has nearsightedness. This line is the principal axis, also simply known as the axis. So let's suppose we have some object, let's suppose a tree, that is found very far away from the eye. Now, when rays of light bounce off that object and reach the following diverging or concave corrective lens, what happens is this lens forms a virtual image of that object exactly at the far point of the eye. Remember the far point of the eye is simply the farthest distance that the eye can still see those objects clearly. So that means this will be the image that this lens will essentially form an image of on the retina. So even though this is a virtual image, the corneal lens system treats this virtual image as if it was the object and forms the final image of this object directly on the retina. So now because the image is formed on the retina and not at this particular point, our object will be seen clearly. So by wearing a corrective lens that is concave, a person with nearsightedness can see objects very far away.